she's a big fish in a small pond, first of all. You know, she runs a very, very successful restaurant in a small uh, village in a country which takes food incredibly seriously. And, um, uh, you know, she has one star. This is her whole life. This is all she's done with her life. Um, we don't know much about her backstory. I imagine that maybe um, she shared the restaurant with her husband when they were young. Her husband maybe died young and she carried on, you know, the concept. Um, and she's become a, a woman who is very, very single-minded, very obsessed, um, very professional, very committed to her culture, to the culture of French food, to the history of France, to, uh, you know, the, everything, uh, the, the, you know, the French love about their own culture. So I, I think that's Madame Mallory. She's, um, she's self-controlled, she is um, uh, totally dedicated, um, but maybe ultimately narrow-minded. Well, you can imagine in a small town uh, where there is not that much room for that many restaurants anyway, um, uh, to have another restaurant open up immediately opposite would immediately be somewhat galling. I think no matter who you were, you know, you'd, you'd probably take, take umbrage at that. Um, you know, we're not talking about a big city here. We're talking about a very small French town. So, um, you know, that would be somewhat irritating. I can understand that. And then on top of that, of course, it's an offence to her sense of, uh, of propriety and elegance and, uh, and, uh, and taste, French culture. Because it's an Indian restaurant, not just that it's an Indian restaurant, it's a colourful, you know, decorative, the, the music is loud, you know, the lights are flashing, and it's so the, quelle horreur, it's kind of the, oh, the opposite of the, of, of the epitome of elegance that uh, Madame Mallory uh, considers herself. Well, you know, food is such an incredible indicator of culture, isn't it? And indeed an indicator of history. Um, you know, you look at the history just of the kebab, for example. You know, the way the kebab stretches all across North Africa um, and then up into Turkey. And, and it's, you know, food is, a, is an incredible indication of the movement of people, immigration of people, uh, and, and of major sort of historical movements. Um, I'm fascinated by the history of food um, that in that sense. I wanted to be part of this because I love France. I thought the idea of being in a beautiful part of France like we are for, you know, two or three months was just it's a, a, a job made in heaven for me, quite honestly. He just warned me that he'd do a lot of takes and he likes improvisation. So we didn't discuss the character in that sense. And I, you know, I love that. I like jumping in off the deep end, quite honestly. The great thing about film is that everybody's on the same level. It really, it doesn't really matter how many movies you've made before, because someone who's never made a movie before, ever, can be absolutely wiped the floor with someone who's made like 300 movies uh, in this particular movie. Maybe they can't do it again, but they they certainly can do it at least once. So making a movie, that's one of the reasons I love it. Everybody really is on of a level. And I find, I always find inspiration from the actors I'm working with. And in a way, the younger and the less experienced they are, the more I find them inspiring. Because there's a freshness of attitude and an openness and a freedom uh, that I always find really inspiring. I hope it's a movie for everyone, but certainly I think the female audience is important for this movie and, and I think that um, Oprah has an instinctive, wonderful understanding of, of women in general um, and also just as a, a, a life force, just to have that life force around is, an, is, a, wonderful, is a great experience. 
what movies about food should be like. They've got to be visceral and beautiful. And I want the audience to come out. Don't go to eat. Don't go out to dinner until after you've seen this movie, you know. And then go to a French restaurant or an Indian restaurant. Um, but the other thing I, I, I hope the film will do is just show this incredible, beautiful part of France to the world. And, and I hope that people will be blown away by its beauty and just so want to come and visit this part of the world. And I, I think the movie just should be a beautiful, just delicious experience.